Some folks have been asking me, what does Texas Chainsaw feel like? How do I get into this game? What am I going to expect when I jump into this? Because games like DVD can be overwhelming. I don't want to be overwhelmed by Texas Chainsaw when I get into the first time. Can you give me some pointers? I have got you covered. For those that want to know or didn't get a key during the technical test, you never played it, I will help you to be able to jump into this with just a little bit of beginner tips that won't spoil the experience for you at the same time. Let's get started. So when you jump right into a match at the beginning, it's going to be very disorienting. It's you're going to the anxiety immediately is going to build because Leatherface is down with you. Most people know that Leatherface is going to be down in the basement with you. He's the only one that's down there with you. He's all you got to worry about, but at the same time, he's very dangerous because you don't know where to go in the basement. It's very disorienting. It's almost like a maze. So when you're down in the basement as a victim, you're going to be using the gaps in the wall and you're gonna be using these kind of barricade pallet objects that you can crawl over to put distance between you and Leatherface. That's how you're gonna keep away from him. Or you can just stealth around and if you hear him hide behind something, he will hopefully not find you. So your goal is to be looking for one of the four steel doors down there. They're each different on every map and uh, that's what you're gonna be using to reach the next level, which is the surface level out of the basement in order to escape. One of the biggest things you need to start doing in the very beginning is learning the map. The basement's gonna take quite a lot longer to learn. I'm still learning them after playing a whole five days of the technical test. The basements are very confusing, but you will start to pick up on where doors are and where the fuse box exit is down in the basement. You'll learn a lot by following the walls. So if you're confused, like for example, on the family map, on how to get to the fuse box exit, which is one of the exits to escape and win a match, you're gonna be following like the left side of the wall. If you can't find your way around, get to the far end of the basement and follow the left side of the wall. You're gonna be following the right side of the wall for one of the steel doors to get above ground. That's just for the family map. It's gonna be completely different for the uh, slaughterhouse map but the same mindset still exists you're going to follow along a wall in on the left or the right side to start figuring out where stuff is at least on the outer edge of the basement and then after you've learned that the outside edges of the basement going around it you'll start to figure out the inside of the basement on top of that in the beginning, two of the perks you want to try to get your hands on is called Intuition and Exit Strategy. One intuition for objectives, Exit Strategy for the doors to be highlighted. Those are the two perks that every victim had during the technical test and is how we learned how to escape the basement. And it gave players just a really good concept of the map knowledge by seeing the objectives and the still door escape routes. If you don't have these perks in the beginning, you're gonna be kind of running around a little bit more blind. Uh, exit strategy is good for helping the entire team out and it's just gonna help everybody learn the map a little bit quicker. So definitely if you can get your hands on the perks intuition and exit strategy, I talk about those two perks as well as many others in my previous video. So definitely go take a look at that. Now, speaking a little bit more about the objectives and the escape routes, the fuse and the valve objectives, those exits will always be close by the center of the map which is usually around the areas of where you'll be coming up above ground. So those exits are very close by. The battery and the generator exits, those exits you have to travel a lot farther away to get to. So on every map you have to kind of consider, do you want to take the risk of doing the fuse or the valve and getting away in an exit that's a little bit more close by towards the center of the map? Or do you want to travel outward a little bit further, which is riskier because you're gonna have to move a little bit farther out of the map, hiding, moving, 
staying stealthy to get to those exits which all you have to do is kick the generator or bust up the battery in order to make your exit through a, a, a gate that you're going to have to unlock and depending on what's going on again you you just never can tell which of these exits are the safest to use depending on what's going on you're going to find it a lot easier to take the center exits with the fuse and the valve or if there's just too much action in the center of the map and they're covering those objectives hardcore you're going to want to try to sneak a little bit farther to the outer parts of the map and we'll discuss all that later because it's different on the family map and the slaughterhouse map we haven't even seen the gas station yet but on the slaughterhouse map you're kind of working through a lot of doors and sections of maps in order to get to the outside battery and generator to make your escape whereas on family map it's a lot more going through bushes and really trying to hike your way either through the front yard or the backyard totally different feel between the two maps now as family you're going to be trying to feed grandpa as much blood as you can especially if you're the cook because he harvests the most blood and and then of course you know you hitchhiker and leatherface are going to be searching for those uh victims Cook as well too is going to be searching for victims, but he's the biggest harvester of that kind of group setup. So you're going to want to, with him, be getting the blood for Grandpa. You got to think of Cook as the recon. He's the scout. He's the person that's he can listen for the victims and spot them for the other two to go after. So being on that microphone and making those calls is very, very important. I do hope they come out with a ping system, but for the technical test, using your microphone and calling out to Hitchhiker and Leatherface, you know, kind of how like he would be in the films making the calls and giving the orders, uh, telling them where the victims are at and ordering them where to go. So you really get to role play as the cook in this kind of setup and situation. The cook can catch some of the victims if he's in the right place, but I would not suggest it. You're kind of the recon and the scout, so it's best to try to kind of work as the role and keep the others informed. And then, of course, you know, with a hitchhiker, it's good to be setting up those traps smartly. You can move them around. Uh, same thing with the cook and his padlocks. Just try to be smart with those items and you'll do really good at keeping the victims at bay and keeping them from moving too far into an exit route. It's basically like kind of like a game of football. You're playing defense as the family. They are offensively trying to push the ball and by setting those traps and setting those padlocks up really nice, you're going to keep them pushed back and then they will have no choice but to either start making mistakes and they won't be able to push the ball to the field goal essentially now as victims i would say it's very very important to start dabbling with all of them at least at first so you're so you kind of know what they can do right you want to get familiar with each one's ability what it does so you can help other players as you start to play and you're just very familiar of what each character can and can't do it will just help you to become a better team player as you start to get into the game and then of course obviously you're going to find your favorite and you can start decking out their perks and building a build and that's pretty much how you get started with the family and victims in texas chainsaw massacre and that's pretty much it in terms of how you get into the game starting off it is filled with anxiety it is really fun you know when the when the family's nearby and you're trying to hide and there they get to you right away and you have to hide and they walk right by you there's a lot of those moments it's just a really great roller coaster ride i hope to see you guys in a few days i hope this video helps some of you out that never got a chance to play gives you an idea of what you need to be doing when you start off in a match you guys have a good one i'll see you later